Hi everyone, my name is Deborah Meal, and I am the president and the founder of the Meal Foundation. I am an ordained minister, uh, and I'm also a clinical, uh, certified clinical hypnotherapist, and um, I do a variety of things, uh, but today I'm gonna talk to you about joyful transformation. In 2002, um, I married my soulmate. Uh, he was absolutely an amazing individual, is an amazing individual, and he's probably the most intelligent, gifted, creative, and sensual man I'd ever met. 18 months after we got married, um, he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and our life shifted dramatically. What I learned in that experience um, of going through that is that you can have a plan for your life, and that plan can change radically. Um, and I want you to know that even though I married him, I certainly didn't understand the way that my life was going to transform and the way that it was going to evolve. What I learned through that process is the more that you resist change, the less joyful that you become. As you resist change, what happens is, is you get dug in as the spirit of your understanding, the divineness of your understanding, however it is you want to call your particular God, tries to move you. The more dug in that we get, the harder it is to make that change. My life changed, his life changed, our family changed. There was no part of our lives with his illness that changed, that did not change. And so as I started that transformation, what I learned was I learned that pain is inevitable in this life and suffering is optional. And what that means is, is that we're going to have things in our life that we don't like, but what happens is, is that when we lend our opinion to those particular events and those traumas that happen in our life, when we get dug in, what happens is, is that we start to um, embody a victim consciousness. And as we embody that victim consciousness, we get our friends and our family and all of our loved ones to get on board with us about how bad it is, which then reinforces that particular victim consciousness that we're going through. And it's not that we should like bad things happening to people because we don't. We don't like bad things to happen to us. We don't like trauma to happen to us. But what happens is, is that when we experience that and then we're told about how awful it is, how terrible it is, how unfair it is, we then become dug in in regards to that particular story. And then what happens is, is once we get stuck, we actually heap more and more suffering onto ourselves. And what happens then is that we get into a cycle of suffering that we're unable without the right skills to get out of. And so what I'm here to talk to you today is about joyfully being able to transform. We're told from the time that we're really little that change is hard. And if you believe that, then change is hard because I guarantee you that what you think about, you will manifest. And if you believe that change is hard, and if you have been told from the time that you were little that you like to do things the hard way, that again, you will start to manifest that in your life. And none of us wants to be beaten up by the Spirit. None of us wants to take, again, our medicine harshly. None of us wants that bitter medicine all the time. And so what happens is, is when you shift your thinking and you then begin to pray for your lessons to come to you easy, they do. That's the nice thing, is that you can actually step into the divine flow of things so that your lessons actually start to come to you much easier. 